Welcome back to Island Exclusive. I'm Janiel Bonter, and as we indulge in the exquisite eco design of Villa Being, we're also giving you a taste of what true Caribbean style is all about. Now, the island of Tobago is known for many things, from its lush rainforest to its world class diving and its sumptuous local cuisine. But did you know that Tobago is quickly becoming an epicenter of Caribbean fashion? Fashion impresario Richard Young gives us more insight. Tobago Fashion Week and it's probably going to show the rest of the Caribbean truly how fashion from this part of the world must be presented. Um, there's a methodology that we have to work with. It's not just about the garments. It's about how we do it. It's about coursing our own way. It's about making the world identify there is a difference and that this part of the world creates its own. But we certainly have a way that is far more colorful, colorful and vibrant and um, full of effervescence, you know? And I think we need to caption that and constantly say to the world, look, there's another way. I feel when you have to confront and communicate and, uh, and connect with water and, and bush and forests and that makes you belong to island. There's a different way that we deal with life. There's a different way that we, we, we encapsulate who we are. This is before we talk culturally and before we talk historically. We're talking geographically. We deal with the waters and the bush differently. We interpret it differently. We therefore try to translate it and, and make our garments reflect it. And the way we move is as a result of that. It means you used to swim in the sea. It means you used to dive in rivers. It means you, climb, you had hikes in bush. We didn't call it ecotourism. We didn't call it any of those things. We just lived in the islands where you get cut on a rock and it was a part of your life. And you go down by the, by the, by, by the water. The water didn't necessarily have to have white sand. As long as it was the ocean, you're swimming in it. In fact, we used to say bathing almost in a cleansing way and it has its spiritual connotation as well and that I think presupposes everything that we go we, we, we begin to do so that makes us different from the onset then when we look to costume ourselves to fashion and we bring that to the table we, we end up with something different and that's what I think island style is there's a different way the abstractions are on the fabric when they, when they tie dye it. There's a different way that the hand paint falls because it's Indo flavored, Afro flavored, um, Syria Lebanese flavored, Chinese flavored, Portuguese flavoring. Influences of our life come through us. And since we're different, that's what the island style is. The island style is something else, it's different. Claudia Pegas had a section called Makafusha Dan Dan. And there was Caribbean music played. And that has not been the norm at Claudia. And so therefore I think an understanding that your Caribbean roots make your essence. And therefore, replicating that on stage is what is important. And Heather's line was almost like paying tribute to Pigeon Point and the Boko Reef. It was the playing of the aquas and the aquamarine and turquoise and, and azure blues. And it was also transparent and definitely felt like the breeze is flowing through you and there's sand between your toes. Those are very powerful lines. Sonny Noel from Guyana, who I, you know, I definitely appreciate it because I like the fact that she uses the Amerindian latticing and she uses that sense of architecture, which a lot of people are unaware of. Georgetown is a phenomenal city. I mean, the architecture is mind boggling. Nowhere in the Caribbean is the city so planned and the architecture so fertile with Georgian and Victorian pieces. It's amazing. 
you know, and Dutch design as well. And she can translate that onto garment. So that's very important. Sonia. Having children in a show is a joy. I mean, the future is there. There is, you know, these big terms like sustainable development. Sometimes people don't know what I mean. It means if you use young people in it and they're enjoying it and they want to make a contribution to the future and they want to partake in the thing now, for them, that's phenomenal. Children are on the stage expressing the joy of living in this part of the world. And the two designers, Bohemian designer and Trinidadian designer on, the, on both of those nights, on Saturday and Sunday, that was phenomenal. The children livened up the space and in spite of inclemency of weather, they had a ball. To me, they encapsulated what Tobago Fashion Weekend is about. If young people could come and go through the discipline as young as five, follow the rules, do their choreography, line up, and go on stage, that means we're doing something right. A lot of the designers asked for natural hair. A lot of designers asked for natural hair, and that's part of the same branding of Island Style that I'm talking about. Whether your hair is a nappy, and we have to go through the explanation of what nappy is. Because nappy needs to start meaning natural hair. So, but nappy hair was definitely, um, the students from the Univ from Caribbean Academy of Fashion Design, they wanted nappy, they wanted nappy hair. The international designers all wanted girls with natural hair. You know? So, um, you know that's where the trend is. The trend is to borrow from this part of the world. We have to make them understand us by us being in the lead. You know, what has happened in the past is that they interpreted who we are and presented it to the world, and the world bought into it. And it's time for us to be in the lead of saying who we are and to say it very lovingly. And I use that word not as a cliche, but loving of self is the only way it can translate through the garment. And loving of each other. And that's how we will start to buy from each other. Not only in the island itself, but intra-regionally. So I think that coming together is one of the, the, the hallmarks of Caribbean fashion moving forward. And we definitely had it represented here at Tobago Fashion Week. Still to come on IX, we'll meet some more movers and shakers who helped Tobago pop on and off the runway.